identification of novel biomarkers of thyroid cancer through multiomics data analysis. Hello everyone, my name is Gina Dhingra and I am a research fellow at Pine Biotech. I, ha I am a post-graduation post student at Amity University, Noida. I have also done my Bachelor's of Science in Biotechnology from Amity University, Noida. The objective of my project is analysis through artificial intelligence built platform utilizing algorithms and tools for multiomics data analysis. The contents which I will cover in through this presentation are introduction, data review, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion, and references. Thyroid cancer is the thyroid cancer is a condition in which cancer cells originate in all the thyroid in the thyroid gland tissue. Thyroid nodules are prevalent, although they aren't always cancerous. Thyroid cancer comes in a variety of forms. Thyroid cancer risk is influenced by age, gender, and radiation exposure. Thyroid cancer, thyroid tumor is most common type of tumor. It accounts for one to five percent of human tumor. The thyroid is present in a gland, gland of the neck that produces two hormones called thyroxine and thyrotothyroxine, T4 and T3. These hormones help the body, helps the body to produce energy required by the cells and to function the body properly. Apart from these hormones, thyroid glands also produce calcitonin that helps to, uh, to regulate the amount of blood calcium. There are four types of thyroid cancer, papillary carcinoma, these types of thyroid cancer grow, grow slowly, occur from follicular cells. These type of cancer can be cured easily with the help of medication. Follicular thyroid ca carcinoma are also the most common type of thyroid cancer. It occurs when there is less amount of iodine in the body. Follicular thyroid carcinoma is more likely to spread to organs and other parts of the body than papillary carcinoma. Medullary thyroid cancer developed from the C cells in the thyroid gland. These type of cancer are less differentiated as compared to the other two cancer and can easily spread in lymph nodes and other parts of the body. If amount of calcitonin is more in the blood, then there is a high chance of medullary carcinoma present in the blood. Four type of thyroid cancer is anaplastic thyroid cancer. That is the most common type of thyroid cancer carcinoma, but the most restrictive form of thyroid cancer. It spreads easily to neck and other parts of the body. Anaplastic thyroid cancer can also be treated by the surgery and is le has less survival rate as compared to other three thyroid carcinoma. Thyroid cancer can be due to too many factors, age, gender, external radiation, and diet. The expression data, data review, the expression data is stored in the form of microarray data in GEO, gene expression omnibus. The data is derived from different patients suffering from different types of cancer and their subtypes. By using the microarray expression profile, one can easily identify specific biomarkers and biological pathway related to it. The gene expression omnibus includes GEO database, data sets, a library of gene expression, this, uh, the microarray analysis techniques are used to evaluate data from DNA, RNA, and protein microarray investigation, which allow researchers to explore the expression, set, expression state of a large number of genes. Methodology. Uh, first, the data set GSE3467, GSE3678, and GSC33630, and GSC53157 were found from the GEO data set base. The corresponding matrix files of all the four data sets were downloaded and stored for further analysis. With the help of different bioinformatics tools, differentially expressed genes were an analyzed and interpreted for all the four data sets. The data in this four data sets were present in the form of micro microarray data. Microarray data is usually normalized, so here no quantile normalization was performed. The corresponding files for the four data sets were introduced to Excel. In order to find differentially expressed genes and set data ready for analysis, all the duplicates ID were cleaned out and also all the zeros were cleaned out of the data in Excel. 
T test was performed between the means of two group, normal thyroid sample and thyroid cancer sample. The P value for all the PIDs were calculated along with P adjusted value and log to fold chain. Thus, we could identify upregulated differentially expressed genes from all the four data sets. These probe IDs would match with their corresponding gene symbol downloaded from the platform GPL 570. That is same for all the four data set. GE was session ID. The matching of the genes with the probe IDs was performed using R studio using left join function. To find the common differentially expressed gene between the two data set, left join function was used in R studio. Heat maps were also prepared for the DEGs. This is for all. Uh, this is to find the differentially expressed analysis. PCA from principal component analysis was also performed to find the highest uh, highest variability between the genes. Secondly, biological interpretation was done by using many uh, bioinformatics tool present online. Differentially expressed analysis. The series matrix file for all the four data sets were downloaded using GEO database. And nextly, they were introduced to Excel. Now the T test value were calculated along with the corresponding adjusted P value and log to fold change for all the four data sets. The values were filtered out to find the number of upregulated genes. Using R Studio, gene symbols and platform text file GPL 570 were matched to the corresponding probe IDs. In this table, we can we can see the uh, geo session ID of the four data sets along with the number of uh, tumor samples, normal tumor, normal thyroid sample, and tumor thyroid samples along with the number of probe IDs. Inner joint function was also performed to see the number of common genes. Here we could see that only 40, uh, their highest number of common genes between the two data sets are 40 and with uh, no number of no common genes found between GSC3678 and GSC3467 data sets. Clustering data. Heat maps for all the four data sets were prepared using C map software here we can uh, see that the uh, the heat map was only performed for the top upregulated genes for all the four data sets here we can see that they were differentially expressed in the uh, two sample in the two samples normal thyroid sample and thyroid cancer samples Upset plot was prepared using R Studio to find number of intersecting genes. 74 genes were found to be common to at least two data sets, and 13 genes were found to be common to three data sets. These upregulated integrated DEGs were for used for further analysis. PCA. Principal component analysis is a process of computing the principal component and using them to change the basis of the data often simply using the first view and disk regarding the rest. PC was performed on the four data set individually. PC was performed using TBA Info server under the section utilities. The result for PC was present in the form of text file. The text file was opened using Excel and scatter plot for the two highest variability for all the four data sets were prepared. PC interpretation for the data set GSC3678, highest variability is 27.42 percentage and 18.19 percentage. So a scatter plot was prepared for all the for the values of these data variables. These two variables, red color indicates thyroid cancer samples and blue color for normal thyroid samples. GSC3630 showed the highest variability of 27.39 percentage and 12.255 percentage. For the GSC35157, data set highest variability is 19.51 percentage and 11.46 percentage. For the GSC3467 data, Set highest variability is minus 29.98 percentage and minus 15.0 percentage. David. The database for annotation, visualization, and integrated discovery provides investigators with a complete collection of functional annotation tools to help them comprehend the biological significance of anomalous list of genes.
using functional annotation tool in david gene onotology g over done for the integrated upregulated genes gene onotology was divided into three parts biological process cell composition and molecular function it was found that most of the upregulated genes were involved in protein binding plasma membrane and integral component of plasma membrane less genes are focused on endoplasmic reticulum and protein homodimerization activity as shown in the figure p value in the count of every geoterms is present in the table below integrated gene pathway was also performed using david pathway analysis of the integrated upregulated genes was also performed using david functional annotation tool pathways were divided into six categories most of the upregulated genes were involved in epithelial to mesen mesenchymal transition in colorectal cancer tgf beta signaling pathway neutrophil degranulation and extracellular matrix organization less number of genes were involved in alk in cardiac my myocytes and ctcf and role of top in t cell activation as shown in the figure panther protein analysis to evolutionary relationship was used to classify identify the function of these integrated genes these genes were introduced to panther the results were in the form of pie chart panther family protein class molecular function biological process cellular component protein class and pathways of all the genes identified were using panthers here the screenshot of the panther results are calculated and introduced string search tool for the retrieval of inter interacting genes protein is a database that identify protein protein interaction between the above mentioned genes 19 protein showed interaction between each other string analysis was performed for the 74 upregulated genes to see protein protein interaction these 74 upregulated genes are common to at least two data sets here nodes represent protein and edges represent protein protein interaction it shows which genes are interconnected by their activity 19 genes showed interaction between each other number of nodes are 59 number of edges are 42 site cytoscape these 19 proteins were introduced to cytoscape to identify protein interaction number of nodes and edges and more information about the interaction is collected network from string database was downloaded and uploaded in cytoscape for further analysis this file from string database was uploaded in cytoscape for further analysis of the interaction here we can see, uh, see how the genes are connected nodes uh, these uh, colored ones are the nodes and the line are the edges and uh, the edges show the protein interaction between each node that is the between each other genes it can be noted that only 19 genes showed interaction between the each other here the table represent the which gene were interacted to which other gene after using network analyzer tool in cytoscape app the results can be seen in the form of a table that contain name of a gene between next clo uh, centrality closest of centrality degree number of directed edges the table is sorted from highest to lowest degree for all the uh, for all the genes that were connected that shows protein protein interactions gepia gene gene expression profile interactive analysis was performed was performed for all the 13 genes common to at least three uh, three data sets here disease free survival analysis was performed the differentiate is, is uh, considered significant if adjusted p value is less than 0.05 so only the genes f uh, fn1 and dpp4 were considered statistically significant because their p value were less than 0.05 rest all the genes out of the 13 genes showed the Uh, did it uh, didn't show statistically significant at their as their p values were more than 0.05 these are uh, disease free survival analysis for all the 13 genes box plot for all the 13 upregulated genes common to three data sets were also performed using gepia it shows that the genes were differentially expressed in normal hair tissue and normal tumor sample it was clarified by analyzing the original data 
discussion. Different bioinformatics tool and machine learning algorithm were used to find upregulated differentially expressed genes among the four data sets. Differential expression analysis were performed in Excel for all the four data sets by using and uh, by using t-test. Also, using R studios uh, uh, probe IDs were matched with the corresponding G symbol. Upside plot was prepared to find the interaction between the EGs. Out of the is all thirteen genes were found to be common to at least three data sets. Using David, the geo terms and pathways for the genes were analyzed and presented in the form of a chart and table. And using other bioinformatic tools, it uh, it was used to predict the pathway analysis, and other protein protein interaction, disease free survival analysis, and box plot of all the these thirteen data sets data uh, these thirteen genes out. Uh, uh, so these 13 genes can be used as biomarkers for the thyroid cancer out of these 13 genes four genes lpar5 lips hmga2 and lrp1b were found to be implicated in cancer proliferation the, these we can we suggest that these four genes to be potential targets for therapeutic options the uh, more information about these four genes is collected here. So big data analysis was done to find potential biomarkers for thyroid cancer. Four genes, LPAR5, LIPS, HMGA2, and LRP1B were found to be potential target for therapeutic option. Their gene anatology pathways were but related disease and their expression in normal thyroid tissue and thyroid cancer sample have been stated in this research paper. These four genes are related to cancer uh, to cell proliferation. It was found that most of the upregulated genes were uh, involved in protein binding, plasma membrane, and integral component of plasma membrane. Most of the upregulated genes were involved in epithelial to mesenchymal transaction in colorectal cancer, TGF, beta signaling pathway, neutrophil degranulation, extracellular matrix organization. These genes were found to be upregulated in the data sets. For further analysis, further analysis can be done by proposing specific drugs that target these genes. By using clinical methods, many drugs can be tested, tested on these genes to see that if that works. Drug inhibiting the activity of these genes can be used for treatment of, treatment against thyroid cancer. After precautions, transluminal uh, coronary angioplasty, the majority of patients have a fa fa uh, favorable, favorable prognosis. However, invasive tumors or distant metastasis might arise in a small percentage of individuals. As a result, identifying critical indicators and therapeutic targets for thyroid cancer will significantly enhance patient quality of life. Here are the references and thank you.